Hey guys, as promised this is the video tutorial to show you how to uh, integrate the Android SDK in Eclipse in Ubuntu. So what we're first going to need to do is grab the Android SDK after a quick Google search. And we just head over to the Android developers page and download the Linux version of the SDK. Now I've already downloaded it so just speed things along so I'll just skip this step but you don't download it and then save it to your computer. And while we're here as well, we can open up the install the ADD plugin for Eclipse while we're here so we can get the details as we're going to need them later. I'll just open the page. It'll be the first page there on the Android developers page. Right. Next, what we do is get the Android SDK that you downloaded and it'll come down the tarball gives file. So extract it and rename it to a more kind of user friendly name so I just called it Android SDK and left it in my home folder as opposed to my downloads folder and go in here and go to tools in the tools section you see an android.sh I'm not too sure if this has to be marked for execution but we'll just check if it does uh, this is allowed to execute mine just check if it's allowed to execute yours because if it can't you'll run into problems so we'll just go ahead and run that and then we get this window which will allow us to download the Android SDK packages that we need. So we'll go to available packages. Uh, to skip ahead and save some time I decided to go ahead and install the Android SDK from the available packages already as you can see. So if you expand your Android repository you'll see these in there. And these are the platforms in which you can develop in for Android. So for example if you want your application to be um, usable on tablets and phones that use Android version 1.6 and upwards you select version 1.6 and when you're creating your app or when you start your app you will select the environment version 1.6 so it will be backwards compatible to that point if you want to start it at 2.1 you select 2.1 and install it now 2.1, 2.2 and 2.3 will be at the time of recording the most popular um, versions of Android that people will be running so it's, it'd be good to kind of develop in those so it'll be some way compatible. Uh, also you can grab some samples. Uh, samples are very handy for checking examples and see how things are done in certain ways in the SDK. But what we look at here is, you see Android 2.1 API version 7. But down here we have for the SDK version API 7. So these samples will apply to um, examples that can be used in the 2.1 Android environment and in, in API version 8 will be the 2.2 so then you'll be able to see um, examples and how each scenario differs from version to version and how you can move along and integrate them. Now I'm going to go back into available packages because I'm going to get some third party add-ons which you can do as well if you feel the need. I'm going to grab me some Google incorporated ones. I'm going to take them from API version 7 because I developed from about 2.1 upwards so API version 7 right up to API, per API version 11 and select install selected and then agree to their terms. So with the SDK installed the last thing to do is to integrate it into the Eclipse environment. So what we have to do is go to help and install new software. If we jump back into our browser there was a page we just opened um, that will give us a URL depending on the version of Eclipse we're running. So if we're running 3.5 or 3.6, this is the URL we want. If you're running 3.4, this is the URL you want. I'm running uh, 3.5, so I'm going to copy this, take it into Eclipse, pop it in here where it says type in the site. Um, under Developers Tools, then just select All and click Next. Now unfortunately I have these um, installed already so I won't be going through the install process with you but it's as simple as just follow the wizard, click finish and wait for everything to be integrated. Then one last thing to actually get this baby working is click on file and new and instead of clicking new Java project or new class go to other and here we can find our Android projects and this way we can start an Android project and that's how to integrate Android into the Eclipse SDK and thanks for watching.